Let's take a live look outside our studio at Daily Plaza. It is the opening day of the Chris Kindle Market. People bundled up out there. Meteorologist Rob Ellis is tracking below zero wind chills for this weekend, Rob. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the coldest part of our forecast, but there's a warm up on the way. So a few snow showers out there as well. It looked beautiful uh, at Chris Kindle Market earlier when Albert Ramon was out there. Just a few light floors. You can see some of those in some of the uh, street lights. But I was watching our camera over at O'Hare, and now it's cleared up. But this was almost whiteout conditions just about a minute ago because these snow showers are pretty heavy at times and I've been watching them on the radar keeping an eye on them notice there's a couple of quick little batches that came through this is what was going over that camera right near Rosemont about there we're kind of in between that batch and the next one that's going to come through so you're going to see these off and on snow chances mainly through this evening let's call it flurries but it's really more snow showers at times depending on where you are otherwise mostly cloudy and only down to 20 tonight but of course the wind chill is going to make it feel so much colder especially if we can clear things out just a little bit before the clouds roll back in by early morning. So teens to near 24 tomorrow to start the day. You're not going to warm up very much still until the 20s by the afternoon and this quick click uh, clipper system brings us another chance for more of those snow showers like we're dealing with right now. A few flurries, but maybe qu some quick little bursts of snow that cause maybe a quick little dusting before they move on. Temperatures are going to stay below freezing for tomorrow, but we clear out by Sunday. Now we will start on the colder side. Temperatures will be into the single digits and teens for early Sunday morning, but we're headed for the 30s. So Sunday is the trend transitional day out of the cold air mass and starting to finally see things warm up. Notice that chance for snow showers there as well and your high temperatures aren't getting above freezing. The wind chills you're certainly going to feel. Now they'll drop tonight likely down into the single digits, but they'll only warm up a little bit for tomorrow before dropping the entire day and probably getting to around zero for the city by early Saturday. I should say Sunday morning, late Saturday night. Many locations though are going to be a little bit colder than that. I showed you this map earlier, but I thought it's really our biggest weather storm. So I'm going to show it to you again. Here's uh, early Sunday morning. We could see some of those feels like temperatures below zero for most of you, maybe to around five or almost 10 below in a few spots. Not quite wind chill advisory criteria, but we're not too far off from it. But watch as things begin to improve as we go through the day on Sunday. These are just these are just feels like temperatures, but the actual air temperatures are going to warm up even more than that. Look at the 40 that returns for Monday and almost 50 by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday. Both of those days are 47 and that is right about where we should be as we head into Thanksgiving. The temperatures are expected to warm up. Now the western part of the country is going to start to enjoy some warmer than average temperatures. What I'm hoping for is that that little bubble of air mass moves our way so that we enjoy warmer than average temperatures looking out really beyond our seven day forecast and it does look like we'll hold the temperatures into the 40s. Clear skies for the most part for Sunday into Monday and Tuesday as well. As we head into Thanksgiving, we do have to start to up those precipitation chances just a little bit. At this point, it looks like like it will be a rainy chance, not a frozen turkey day, and that's a frozen turkey day, not a frozen turkey day. <laughs> I don't want to have, want you to have frozen turkey out there. 41 for your uh, high temperature on Friday. We are expecting the pattern to change a little bit as we get closer and closer to Thanksgiving. All right, thanks, Rob. Yeah.